go to the donut box here by Test Track. Yep. Enjoy, guys. Have thank you. Thank, thank you. you, you too. Thank you. All right, so we're going to try the strawberry dusted yeast donuts. It was four dollars in tax. I have no idea. Four dollars. So anyhow, you want to go ahead and try one of those? I will. Which one? Give it a test drive. Looking for the hole. Make sure it doesn't squirt out on me. I don't know that it's got anything in it. Does it? I don't think it does. Strawberry. See it on the frosting. Nice. Yeah, yeah pretty good. good. Yeah. Because we got a few of them. It's got a little crust on the outside. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Sorry, I'm jiggling everything around here. I'm trying to get that off my arm and I'm dropping everything. I'll just follow along like this. <laughs> I'm dropping my stuff. Yeah, that's really nice. All right. Indeed. Get your reaction. Okay. So. Get my reaction. There you are. I'm all about a good donut. Looks nice. So remember by that little bit of crust, maybe it's on the bottom. Is it deep fried? It must be deep fried. Oh, it does to be. have a it it does have a bit be. of a crust to it. The inside's kind of plain. Yeah, but the stuff on the outside kind of makes up for it, so... The outside, the outside sugary part is pretty good, but the inside is pretty plain. Not super exciting on this. It'd be better if they had a glass of milk. <laughs> be better if maybe it had something inside of it. Yeah, maybe. But, I don't know. Well, it's, take another bite and see if there's anything okay. in there. Nope. I like the crust. Yeah. The thing is, every bite you're going to get part of that outside crust on there. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It doesn't excite me a tremendous amount, like so many things here yeah. are very good. This is just kind of... There's only one each, so it's not going to be something over overfilling for us. So. It's all right. I don't know that I'd want to get it again. No, probably not. I know I'm not going to get that other one. Whatever that was called. Mm, what? The jelly, pepper jelly. Oh, the corn fritters, yeah. I think, well, if we didn't try the pepper jelly, it probably would be good, but... But this is just kind of okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would recommend this to anybody. I do like the crust on the outside. Yeah, but that's, that's about it. So I'll just... <laughs> just the crust. Get the rest of the squirrels. So. so I guess overall, the strawberry dusted yeast donuts out here by Test Track, four bucks. Yeah, four dollars. It's okay. Wouldn't recommend it, but it's okay. Yeah. One time only. Not my favorite. Yeah, one and done. <laughs> That's it. It's going to be two and done. Two and done. Automated crash avoidance technology disengaged. Displaying responsiveness data. Here comes the final test.
Have you? I've never had that. There's like some sort of a pureed fruit down in there. Now, is that just whipped cream on top? It must be a bit burnt. Kind of like a heavy cream, maybe. Okay. But, yeah, it's very, very tasty. Of course, I had it with a blueberry. So I guess that's probably strawberry. Right Might be. Is that what it tastes like? Yeah, I'm going to take a little taste of it. I just want to taste a little bit of it. Don't put this in the... Oh, I won't do that. Very, not tart at all. you think it would have been. I think that might be like a strawberry fruit that's in there. It's really good. Yeah. yeah it's very light. And right. I think on top it must just be a it's really not, nice whipped cream. It's, it's not, light. yeah, it's not really. Is it whipped cream on the bottom too? It's, it's got a thicker texture to it. Yeah, that's, yeah, you see the whipped cream there. All right, I wasn't sure if it had like a cake below or if it was something like that. I'm thinking I am eating cake, you know. I mean, it's like. Okay. I'll do it with strawberry. We like three different berries in there like strawberry, raspberry, and uh, blueberry. Okay. Yeah, so good. And of course, I got the creme brulee. Now, when we were here the last time, we got the creme brulee at the festival instead of inside of Paris, and it had some sort of a hazelnut spread that was in there on the bottom, and I didn't realize that when we ordered it, and I'm allergic to chocolate, so I'm not having that one again, so that was a problem for me, for sure. But when he said there's chocolate on the bottom, I thought he was joking. I had never heard of that in a creme brulee before, but it definitely had it, and it definitely affected me. Like a whipped chocolate. I won't make that mistake twice. But anyhow, this is just uh, the regular creme brulee from France. We've also gotten this at the land, and I think it's the same exact Could be. person making it, I'm sure. Well, I think but at the bottom, it's in France, so... 
That must be it. So. Ah, oh, it's got that crunchy on the top. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to get his hands too close to my crumb brulee. I just didn't want you to wear it. <laughs> and that's the good one. You don't have to worry about chocolate allergy this way. I was worried about that because I had Hey, are you eating my crème brulee? Well, can I have bites? Do you have bites? Oh, that's nervy. Okay. Thank you. He tried to sneak a bite of it and pretended like I wouldn't notice. Now, which do you like better? Do you like the creme brulee here in France of Epcot, or do you like the creme brulee that was out there for the Food and Wine Festival that we had last month? Really? This, this one and also the one over there. At land. At the land. The land was really, really. Good. I think it's the same. I'm pretty sure it's the no, same. It's a bit I mean, we did. I have to admit, though, even though I'm allergic to chocolate, the one that had the hazelnut that's out there for the food and wine festival, way better. Until you get the after effects of the chocolate. Yeah. But um, it definitely was way better. It was so smooth and creamy and. I didn't really notice the chocolate taste too much. It just tasted different, and it was so good. Yeah. But uh, but anyhow, I'll stick with this one because it's safe for me. I think it was really lift up. But I would I would recommend either. But if you're here for the food and wine festival, definitely the one with the hazelnut I think is better. And he actually likes this one better. So that at least gives you a little bit of an idea. But this one is kind of a, I don't know. It's a little bit of a vanilla caramel taste to it and but it's super super smooth and light not really filling doesn't taste like sugar fest or anything like that it's just real light it could be perfect it's just in oh. france it's just super smooth and creamy it's so amazing i have to have it every single trip and i think that you would absolutely love it but both of these things nine dollars and 86 cents here in France of Epcot and of course it's during the Food and Wine Festival that we strayed and this is not for the Food and Wine Festival this is just simply in the back cafeteria area of France anytime anytime they have so many different options I should have actually done video of the line went through so that way you kind of see the foods and the desserts and the line's kind of misleading because usually it's packed with Yes, yes. So we just caught it at the right time. Yeah, usually when we come through, it's so packed. But even when it's packed, you still get through the line so fast. It's amazing. Yep. But anyhow, just a few ideas of different things for you to try when you're here. These are some of our favorites, our go-tos, I guess. And I think that you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and ring bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of the Trippin' with Red theme parks and beyond videos. Thank you for watching.